Oh. Oh. Ah, goodness me, where are my manners? You must be exhausted. Rest up, my friend. We'll look after you tonight. Thanks. I just think I need to rest my eyes for a bit. Lobsters. Oh. Where did they go? Ah, tree lobsters or no tree lobsters, I'd better get back to the octopod. Mm. Looks like there's only one way down. Ahoy there, matey! Quasi, Captain! Glad to see you're all right, Peso. We found the guppy, but we've been searching for you all morning. You won't believe what happened to me last night. You can tell us all about it back at the octopod. Climb aboard. Let's get you home. There were only 24 of them, and they all lived under this one tiny shrub. But then, when I woke up, they were gone. Yeah. Based on our location, it sounds like you washed up here on Ball's Pyramid. Strange. Ball's Pyramid has been explored many, many times and nobody's ever found any tree lobsters. I've never even heard of a tree lobster before. Hey, so are you sure that maybe it wasn't all just a dream? It's not unusual to have strange dreams when you're in a dangerous situation. I don't know. Maybe it was all a dream. I believe you, matey. You, you do? I've heard enough strange tales to know there's usually a scrap of truth behind them. There's got to be something in the library about these tree lobsters of yours. Come on! Mysterious island monsters, castaway creatures, exotic beasts of land and sea. Quasi, it's been hours and we still haven't found anything about tree lobsters. Just a few more books, matey. Whoops! <laughs> a tree lobster? Ha-ha! <laughs> I knew we'd find them! Listen to this. Lord Howe's Island stick insects, or tree lobsters, once lived on islands off the coast of Australia. Shiver me whiskers! It's amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one has seen a living tree lobster in many years. I see one right now and it's on your head! Ah! A baby tree lobster. I must have somehow brought one of the eggs back with me. We'd better get you back home. We're on our way. Quasi, peso, to the guts. <laughs> to find all the octo floats, we'll have to split up. Aye, and it looks like we have some company. Then there's not a moment to lose. up the ocean, do ya? Oh, I've made a home out of all kinds of rubbish before now. Whatever keeps me safe from the birds up above and the big fish below. When I find a home this good, I don't give it up easily. <coughs> the mast! There's 
It's no time to argue, Trixie. You better dive down deeper where it's safe. I'm staying right here. No water spout's gonna scare me out of my own. All right, you don't have to leave your home, but I've got to move it to safety. <laughs> Follow me, Trixie. <laughs> is in there with a pig. Any sign of Dashy yet? Not yet, Captain. There she is. By that rock over there. Dashy, can you hear me? Captain? Oh, she's awake. Wait, you need a checkup. Oh. How do you feel? I feel okay. You seem fine. My camera! Oh, it's fine too. Dashy, what exactly happened? I was about to take a picture, and then I heard a very loud boom. It was so loud that it knocked me out, and that's all I remember. What could make a sound that powerful? I know what, me hearty. Dashy must have been struck down by the dreaded giant shrimp monster. But shrimps are small. This one's big. <laughs> when the shrimp monster snaps his giant claws, the boom is loud enough to knock out anyone who hears it. Uh, Quasi, I'm not sure we're dealing with a giant shrimp monster. I'm sure I didn't see any giant claws anywhere. Octonauts, let's find out whatever made that boom and stop it before someone else gets knocked out. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm with you, Captain. We'll divide up and search the area. But first, ear protectors, everyone. Hi, mateys. These will keep us safe from the boom of the giant shrimp monster. I feel safer already. Quasi, you search those rocks over there. Aye, aye, Captain. Dashy, you be our lookout in Gup A. And Peso, you take that area over there. Aye, aye, Captain. Huh? That fish still needs a checkup. Wait, I help any creature who is sick or hurt. I'll just take these off for a second so I can use my stethoscope. No sign of the shrimp monster yet! Peso? Ah, Peso! The shrimp monster snaps his giant claws again! Come on, I'll take you back to the gup. Yow! Yow! I'm ready for action! <clears throat> and this is Dashy and Shellington. Hello! It was great to meet you, Pinto. We'll see you when we get back. Are they taking the gut E on a real mission right now? Yes, they're going out to study baby sea snails. Baby sea snails can be hard to find because they're so tiny. 
That's why I have my magnifying glass. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Aye, aye, Cap. I want to go on a mission too. Let me show you around the octopod first. Crazy told me that the life of an octonaut is really exciting. Oh, it is. As a medic, I... Do you search for sea monsters like Quasi? Uh, well, here, let me show you what I do. I... And Quasi says that an octonaut has to be prepared for anything to happen. That's true. You want to try doing something that I do? I'm ready for anything. All right, then. Here's a real challenge. Bandaging. We'll practice a combination bandage. A flipper sling and a rib wrap. Now you try it. I want to learn how to be an octonaut, not a medic. But I'm an octonaut and a medic. I mean a real octonaut, like Quasi. Ready for action. Oh, I have to be ready for action too, you know, in case someone gets hurt. Quasi! Wait! Is the ship under attack? No, but it is time for lunch. Here you go, matey. <laughs> Last one there be a rotten fish egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Captain, what's going on? We've just received a call for help from the Guppy. Captain Barnacle's here. Go ahead, Dashy. Captain, we seem to be stuck. Can you locate us? Uh-oh, Cap. We've lost radio contact. Dashy and Shellington are stuck, and we've got to get them unstuck. Hmm. I wonder what they're stuck in. We'll find out when we get to them, and we need to get to them fast. Can I come too? Oh, please, 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 please. No, it might not be safe. Your big brother's right, Pinto. You better stay here with the Vegemals. <sighs> I'll tell you all about it when we get back. Octonauts? Huh? Octonauts, who sounded the octo alert? Um, Shellington, do you know what he's saying? Yes, Captain. He says that your octo compass flew out of the octo hatch and they don't know where it is. I think. And they're really sorry. Don't worry, Vegemals. We'll find it. Dashy, activate the Octo Compass Finder. I'm on it, Captain. There it is. <laughs> it's floating into the cove. Look. It stopped moving. All we have to do now is go into the cove here and get it. Easy. Super, super. Or maybe not so easy, Captain. This cove is known to pirates everywhere as Creepy Cove. Creepy Cove? What's so creepy about it? It's the home of a creepy monster with creepy powers. And what might those powers be, Quasi? The monster of Creepy Cove can change colours like magic. It can make itself grow as big as three whales. And finally, it can make perfect copies of itself <laughs> until you're surrounded by monsters. I've always wanted to explore Creepy Cove and see that monster in action for myself, matey. <laughs> I'm not sure there's really a monster living in this cove. Creepy Cove, Captain. But we do need to get my octo compass back. So, Quasi, Peso, into the gup. We're heading for... Creepy Cove? Um, yes. 
Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Captain. According to the map, the octo compass should be somewhere near the entrance to the cove. So we won't have to go very far inside Creepy Cove to find it. Unless the monster of Creepy Cove finds it before we do and takes it for himself. Here we go. The entrance to the cove. The octo compass is small, so we'll have to look very carefully. Peso, you take that side of the rocks, and I'll take the other side. And Quasi... Quasi? <sighs> Come on, Peso. Activate helmets. Just open wide and say, ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah! There's Peso and Shellington. I'll show them a few of my moves. Oh. Avast, mateys! Oh. <laughs> Yee-haw! A shark! Quick, hide, chaps! Oh. No, no, that's not a shark. It's just my friend, Quasi. Oh. oh, no, I forgot to close the octo hatch. Dashie, what's going on? Some kind of little fish are swimming into the octopod, Captain, and they're getting inside everything. Tweak. It's not just the toilet. Captain, this isn't good for the fish. Or the ship. Dashy, sound the octopus. Huh? You want me to sound the octopus? No, Dashy. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have a very big problem caused by some very small creatures. Lots of tiny fish have swum into the octopod. They're inside all the pipes, hoses and tanks. Basically anything with water in it. Oh no, they could get hurt. Ah, who are the little fellas anyway? They're Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apua'a. What? Huma Nuka Kuka Puka Wata Hedabudu? Humu humu nuku nuku apua'a. When something scares them, they quickly hide in small spaces, then stay in there till it's safe to come out again. Who would want to scare these cute little fishies? Um, actually, it was you, Quasi. Me? Yes. The humu humus thought that the gut bee was a shark. That's why they swam into the octopod. Oh, sorry, little fishies. Octonauts, let's split up. We've got to get the Humu Humus out now. It's not for nothing they call us sponges the hotels of the sea. And it doesn't bother you. No, not at all. I've never had any problems. Oh, until today. Yes, and if the sponge isn't happy, we aren't happy. Oh. Where are we anyway? Yeah, nobody bothered to ask us before they yanked us off our reef and stuck us in this pan. And what's with all the poking and prodding and light shining in me eyes? Well, I well. say. This used to be a nice place to live. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. Uh-oh, they're running out of room. We need to find places to put all these creatures fast. Finally, 
a room with a view. <sighs> That's the last one, Peso. Do you feel any better now that everybody's out? No, there's still something in there. What could it be? I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. We've got to take a closer look inside. Tunip, sponger scope, please. <laughs> All right, this shouldn't hurt, but you may feel a little <laughs> tickle. Having a look in. No. See anything yet, Peso? Aha! <laughs> Shellington, what is that creature? It looks like a louse. A whale louse. <coughs> what are you looking at? A louse. No wonder I'm feeling so lousy. That thing doesn't belong inside of me. <laughs> You're telling me? He doesn't look like he's feeling very well either. Of course he isn't. Whale lice can only survive on whales, not inside sponges. Excuse me, Mr. Louse, but we need to get you out of this sponge right away. <laughs> oh no, no way! I'm a whale louse! I ain't leaving until somebody finds me a whale to live on! Captain, the sponge won't feel better until the louse is out of her, and the louse won't feel better until he's back on a whale. Then there's only one thing to do. Peso, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have to find a whale for a sick whale louse. And we need to find it fast. I'm picking up something big on the tracker. Very big. It should be on the other side of this reef. Ah, there's nothing here. No, but I thought I saw something. Me too. Something big. The trick is still saying it's up ahead. Then let's go, mateys. It's gone again. I get the feeling it doesn't want to be disturbed. Let's go forward gently this time, so we don't scare it. Whatever it is. It sounds so sad. Like the world's loneliest sea monster. Or the world's loneliest whale. That's a humpback whale. But his voice is like no humpback I've ever heard. I think he's looking for food. He's a young one and he looks very skinny, Captain. Then he might need our help. Activate helmets. Hello there. That's a very interesting song you're singing. Oh, thanks. It's my I'm Hungry song. My name's Joe, by the way. Are you on your own, Joe? Yep, I'm pretty much always on my own. I guess the other humpbacks kind of don't understand my singing. Captain, Joe is far from the summer feeding grounds. Without the other whales to show him the way, he won't have enough to eat. Joe, why don't you come with us to our octopod and we'll see if we can help you. I don't suppose there's any food at this here octopod. I'm uh, kind of hungry. Absolutely. Follow us. Right behind you. Mmm, <laughs> these here fish biscuits are pretty good. Captain, I think I found the cause of Joe's unusual voice. What is it, Peso? These are the tubes inside Joe's nose. And these are the tubes inside a typical humpback's nose. See how much smaller Joe's are? Of course! Whales sing by pushing air through their nose. But because Joe's tubes are so narrow, his songs sound different. Uh-huh. So that's why the early whales can't understand me. Yow! What was that? Oh, gee. <laughs> Just my tummy rumbling. I don't suppose you have any more of those fish biscuits? Captain, Joe can't just eat fish biscuits. He needs a proper whale diet. Yeah, and the vegetables need a break. 
Hmm, Joe needs food and fast, so we need to get him to join a group of whales who show him to the summer feeding grounds. The last group is on its way to the feeding grounds. After they've gone, there are no more humpbacks in this part of the ocean. Then time is running out. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Oh, that one's hard-headed. He bumps first and asks questions later. Very brave, though. Hmm, sounds like someone I know. We're curious about your ship. We heard it make an interesting sound. Oh, you mean the Octo Alert? No, more like this. <coughs> oh, um, that... That was me. I was having trouble on my accordion. We thought it sounded quite lovely. Oh, thank you. Octonauts, who wants to go out and meet our new friends? Want to race? Ah! OK! <laughs> hey! You didn't say go! They're heading straight for the beach! Oh my! That's not a good place for an orca! Maybe I can stop him before he gets there! Can have a head start next time, but I'll still win. <laughs> uh, 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 just let me get turned around here. Uh, give me a push, will you? Aye. And... Yow! Buzzy, <laughs> are you all right? Aye, Captain, but I can't get the orca to budge. Oh, I don't feel very well. Is it just me, or is it getting really hot? Quasi, there's a bucket in the gup. Will you grab it and pour some water over the orca? He needs water to stay healthy. Aye, aye, Captain. If I could just... <laughs> oh. oh, no, I'm stuck. And I can't stay out of the water for long. Don't worry. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise that we will get you off this beach. In the meantime, Quasi will keep you cool. Oh, thanks. 